Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon Crew and Beautiful Rabbit Hole and King Dio. It is such a shame, it is such a shame to see how far that Beastars has fallen. Uh, I have just uh, picked it up again after volume 11, I'm about like what, halfway through like volume 12, and it's like, it's the same shit over and over and over again, like pointless melodrama, relationship shit and just nothing interesting or engaging at all pointless new characters that out contribute to the plot no like following up on like other characters and just ruining characters that i think are have already been established like i, I talked a little bit about how like the entire core of characterization of louis has been like all over the place from being like presenting himself as being like this guy who just he fucking hates carnivores uh, to like wanting to be one, to like sort of uh, becoming their leader, they just the leader of a gang of carnivores, to like going back, like nothing happened. It's just B Stars is just all over the place with its narratives, with its themes, with like its ideas, what it wants to pick. And I think like fundamentally, the problem with B Stars, and, and I do mean this, especially after having read Baki, uh, who actually whose uh, creator actually is the father of the woman who did B Stars is that Beastars has no idea what it actually wants to be. Like, I think that's really important. Like, Beastars just tr is trying to, like, constantly keeps trying to throw everything at the wall and trying to see what sticks, right? Like, you have, like, the setup, right, of, like, uh, Tem being murdered by, like, a mysterious shadowy figure. So you kind of get this impression that, like, yeah, Tem the Alpaca is getting murdered by this... Uh, by some, some carnivore in the drama club. You don't know anything else about the story at that point, right? So you have Tim... So you have, like, the immediate fallout from that, right? You have people, like, moping around. You're sort of, like, establishing characters. You're establishing, like, Lagoshi and his friendship with Tim and, like, uh, his, his budding love... His relationship with Tim and, like, how he was, like, heavily involved in, like, uh, Tim's life and stuff like that. You, you get this, like, really great feeling that like okay it's gonna build up to something there's like some kind of weird harry potter like kind of fucked up nonsense going up on this going on at this academy right but you never really get that you know what i mean like instead uh, the series does a great job like right off the bat like sort of establishing that like Lagoshi cares about herbivores around him right he's friends with them he likes them uh despite being a carnivore himself it's it's not a big, like, you don't really need anything more than that. But the series seems to think, it really wants you to think that Lagoshi's drive to protect herbivores is because of his lust for, like, tight, young rabbit pussy, right? Like, fucking Haru. A character that, even now, 11 volumes in, 12 volumes in, 12 and a half volumes, uh, <laughs> 11 and a half volumes in, um, I have no idea why she even exists. Like, I have no idea why Lagoshi is in love with her. I have no idea why she why she was such a huge thought. I have no idea why she was in a relationship with Louie, who could have any girl he fucking wanted. I have no idea, like, what her background is like. Like, I have no idea, like, who her friends are outside of Lagoshi. Like, I have no idea, like, she... Like, she, this fucking rabbit... Like, single-handedly, I think, killed the entire story. Like, I, I, I was saying this, like, from the beginning, right? Like, I was saying that, like, I, I fucking could not stand this fucking rabbit. Like, this rabbit, like, needed to fucking die and fuck off. And, and then maybe Beastars could, like, really build off, like, the, the Goshi and Louie, like, dynamic. Like, follow their careers, like, through Cherryton Academy and, like, see them go through this, like, radical sort of like change in their lives or whatever like work ha have them work together to solve the mystery of Tem's murder right and, and that's the thing that's the thing Tem's murder uh the the resolution to that is so anticlimactic and just kind of comes out of nowhere it, it it's impossible to really feel invested at all like louis didn't louis didn't seem to care at all like throughout the entire thing he's off like doing his own fucking thing he's like actually banging haru He's, like, leading lion gangs. He's not He's not thinking about Tem at all. He doesn't care about Tem. And honestly, past the first couple of volumes, I don't think Lagoshi does either. Like, it's like they forgot all about Tem 
introduced Haru, had that sort of drama with like the the Lion Mafia, and, and like sort of sort of that thing, and then like eventually, you know, after like oh man, uh, can this relationship work? They they sort of like remind you that like oh yeah, uh, Tem was fucking murdered, and uh, it was this bear that did it, and uh, Lagoshi needs to like punish him in the in the name of the moon or whatever, like. It tries to be an action series, right? Like they, they they try like setting this up like as if it's a mystery. It's like, ooh, who could have possibly killed Tem? But then like it's obvious. Like it, it's the fucking bear, right? The bear just fucking, come, the bear's just like off his medication or whatever. Like gone kind of loopy, and uh, you know instead of like you know exposing him to the school or anything like that, exposing him to the authorities, like Lagoshi is just like okay. I'm gonna be an anime protagonist, train in martial arts with this panda. Who? Uh, okay, the panda is fucking awesome. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love the panda, but uh, fucking go him. Uh, I'm gonna train with this panda, go him, become an anime protagonist, and then beat the shit out of this bear. And uh, that sounds awesome. In a lot of ways, uh, it kind of is because like the way the animals are drawn are kind of. Uh, it's really, really good. Like, uh, I, I said this, like, early on, that, like, I did kind of want, like, Beastars to be... I, I thought it would be kind of interesting if Beastars was a more action-oriented series. And it felt like this was an attempt at, like, um, catering to my interest, right? In, in my interest in that idea. But, um, again, it, it doesn't really go anywhere. Like, the fight has no reason to happen. It, it has no, like... Re it has a stupid, like, climax. It has a dumb resolution... And now, like, we're back to where we started. Like, okay, just forget about Tim. It doesn't matter anymore. Now we're going back to the relationship drama that I don't care about. Ugh. It, it, it's terrible. Like, it is awful. It is irredeemable, almost. Like, they had so many... They had so many, like, potential ways the story could have gotten. Like, they could have, like, really, really fleshed out a lot of these characters. They could have, like, introduced, like, really built off the idea of, like, Juno and stuff like that. Um, her being, like, more of a... Carn uh, carnivore like uh, <laughs> uh, popular sort of sort of person uh, they could have done a lot with that um, they could have done a lot more with like Gagoshi and his like struggles like the whole like the whole black market idea was cool but it was like way 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 played out like like <sighs> their attempts at like trying to make the 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 dark the black market seem like more complex just made it seem like even more ridiculous where you have like you know you have strippers like herbivore strippers that perform for carnivores who like want to eat and fuck them it's just it's like you have like carnivores like giving up their body parts to herbivores so like oh it's uh see it's uh it's both sides kind of thing like it, it doesn't feel real in a lot of percent like in a lot of sense like it feels like they're going for shock value a lot of times. Like it feels like a, a lot of the plot is just is just is just like thrown together with like no real with no real plan in mind, just randomly going all over the place, like trying to uh, trying to impress you with like these new character twists or these new de plot developments, and it, it just doesn't work all that well. It just it just feels like. Like wasted potential, and I, and I do mean wasted potential because uh, this is like I think the only manga that I initial that I have read that I really really enjoyed initially that I that I got sick of as I, as I uh, read through it because because it because I don't think it's getting better like I, I don't think so I'm about like uh, I am about halfway through the series now um, and just seeing how like that plot line was resolved the whole Tem thing like i have no optimism they'll be able to introduce like any anything new after that like i i have no optimism like i i don't care what happens next i don't like i don't like the angle they're going with it like uh pushing like the interspecies romance thing which was which was retarded to begin with i i don't see a lot of interspecies romance like I, I, yeah because it doesn't fucking work lagoshi you piece of shit like it, it's not complicated I, I don't... <sighs> Beastars is, like, not honest with itself about what it wants to be. Like, it, it just... <sighs> it's like some... <sighs> it feels kind of, like, wish fulfillment-ish in a lot of ways. Like, a lot of, a lot of female, like, fantasy-ish, where you have, like, these two dudes going on this adventure that somehow revolve around this boring 
boring chick. It, it reminds me a lot of like Twilight in that respect. Uh, very similar to that. Like a lot more competent to be sure, but um, same general sort of like thing that just alienates me as like as a reader, as like a as an, as a as a fan of literature. It's just it's just like it reminds me of, like you know stuff like Persona or just. I, I, I don't enjoy that kind of like wish fulfillment thing, uh, no matter who it's for, honestly. I, I, who, who the target audience is, honestly. I just <sighs> make the story interesting for the reader. Like it's not, it's not something that like you don't write for yourself. You know what I mean? That, that, that's that's kind of how I feel. Like the mistake that the uh, the the author of this uh, Itagaki uh, made is that like it's too like it's too fixated on what she's interested in and not really. Not really what like the readers want, or what like uh, how the natural progression of the story should go. Uh, the story should have been focused exclusively on Tem and like the murder and like Lagoshi's relationship with like the herbivores around him. Uh, at best, Haru should have been like a very very minor character, um, or just you know similar to like Els or any anyone else like. I, I don't know, like, it says a lot where, like, I feel, like, so much more invested in, like, random side characters in B-Stars than I do in, like, the actual protagonist. Because at this point, like, I don't I don't care about Louis anymore. Because, like, how how they botched his storyline. Like, eat my fucking leg, Lagoshi. That, that's so funny stuff. Like, hated that. Hate where it's going now. Uh, I don't see it getting better. I, I really, really don't. I, I think I put too much time into this to, like, to drop it completely... And um, I'm sure they're gonna. I, I'm sure there's like a bunch of. I'm sure there's gonna be like an audience of people out there who uh, who want to see my thoughts on on B stars as like a series. So uh, and I and I am a critic fundamentally. So uh, I, I probably should like go ahead and finish this. But yeah, I, I am not a fan. I, I am not a fan of where the story has gone.